In this video, we are going to be talking about polling and also using the quiz function in Blackboard Collaborate. So you've already signed into your Collaborate session, and you may be familiar with some of these icons that are over here in the uh, right below your name in the participant section. And you'll see uh, the default is the uh, this checkbox. So you, if you mouse over that checkbox, you'll see that there's the options of yes, no, or none. So when I select one of these options, it pushes out that somebody had, you know, that that I had selected this. Now me as the uh, moderator in the course, I would see the results here. Um, as a student, students would not see those results. This is the John Freshman's page I'm I'm signed into as well, and he doesn't see those results. So um, when I click on uh, no for John Freshman, it's going to put a little red X next to my name. John Freshman's name and um, indicate it up here. It doesn't give me the actual results now bouncing back over to my my session um, as the moderator I see that uh, I have my results that I checked yes you see my name right here I said I checked yes and John Freshman selected no. You can also clear the results by clicking on this clear button and that would clear the results you can also change the polling type. So by clicking on the menu options next to the participants list, so this menu options right here, I can select polling type, change it from yes, no to uh, ABC, ABCD, or ABCDE. Depending on my multiple choice, I can select different options here. So when I change this to multiple choice, so you'll notice that checkbox turns into a letter where I can select my ABCDE. So you could ask your students a question. You could either push it out through the chat function, so you could type in your, your question, or uh, verbally ask the question, what would you choose? You could also have your uh, slideshow be listing um, different questions and, and poll the students depending on how you wanted to set this up. You can also get to the polling options by clicking on tools and then polling and checking your polling type. So you could change it back to the yes and no. You can also select in, under polling if you wanted to publish the responses to the whiteboard, you could push out the results and you'll see that when I push that out to the whiteboard, it gives me the results for that particular poll. So right now we have the, the checkbox and nobody selected anything. So both of us, um, myself and John Freshman, have not selected anything um, as far as the results are concerned. So this is pushing it out to everyone that's in the classroom. I'm going to clear this page which wipes out the results to show you the next function which is administering quizzes in Collaborate. So if I click on the window option up in the corner and select show quiz manager it shows me my quiz manager page where I can click on this create a new quiz button and I can put in my name and the next function that I would want to do after I put in the name is add a new question to the end of the quiz. So I'll click on this question mark with the plus sign. It gives me the new question, so I'd put in my question type. If I wanted a, a, to, it to be a short answer response, or if I wanted it to be a multiple choice. So this one I'm going to select multiple choice. So you'd put in whatever your answer was. So I'd select my button again to add another one. So you just keep on adding them. And if I wanted maybe an ABC, so it would have three choices. You need to make sure to check off whichever one was the correct answer. And if I wanted to add another question, I could click on this Add a New Question. So you'll see it says two of two, new question. So you put in your actual question and repeat the steps. Answer one. Answer two. So maybe this was a true and false. So you could select just the two answers if you want. Once you're ready to submit uh, to save the test, you just click on this this icon with the uh, floppy disk. So save this quiz and return. So that gives you in your quiz manager gives you your actual quiz. So I titled this one Quiz One. So you'll see that Quiz One is ready to be distributed to your students. Double click the Quiz One which opens up your test. You can review it if you'd like. And you just click on this little play button to put
push that out to the students. And you'll see that um, the correct answer is marked here. Nobody has answered um, the quiz yet. And if I bounce over to John Freshman's page, you'll see that um, my quiz got pushed out to John Freshman. So um, John Freshman is able to see this quiz now. And as a student, I could select my answer and then go to the next question. And then once the student is done, they would hand in the quiz. So they would click on this little hand with a piece of paper. You get the message, are you sure you want to hand in your answers? And yes. So as John Freshman, he just submitted that quiz. On the instructor side, you'd see that um, it gives you an instant result of who answered what question. So for instance, John Freshman had selected uh, answer number two, which was the, the correct answer you see. And he also answered number one, which is also the correct answer. So you see that your results are, you know, however many people answered plus the percentage uh, of, of those questions. So if I wanted to show, the, I could I could push this out, I could show the students the correct answers as well. So, so you can click on this option, and that pushes out the results to the students as well. So once I'm ready to close the quiz, I'd click on the little stop sign and close the quiz. Now in the test manager, in the quiz manager, you'd see that we have the, the master quiz of quiz one, and now we have this new file which is the, the written file with, with the results.